Hello everyone, my name is Kanto and today I'm going to explain how to find the square root by division method, right? <coughs> now, these are the examples I'm going to explain today. <coughs> now, first we are going to find the square root of 4489, right? Now, we are going to find the square root of this, right? Let's say 4489. Right, so first what you need to do is you need to make a pair, right, from left side. This is right, this is left. So from left side, make a pair. One pair, two pair, right. So here, in this case, there are pair. Both the numbers are pair. Sometimes there will be a number, an individual number, which will not be in pair, right. So it doesn't matter. Right, now, <coughs> first we are going to find the square root of 44 right now we need to find the square root of perfect square root. it's supposed to be a perfect square root okay if it's not a perfect square root then we find the perfect square root of a number which is smaller than 44 right now since 44 is not a perfect square root right so next perfect square root smaller than 44 is <coughs> let's say 4, 4 to 16, right? 5, 5 to 25, 6, 6 to 36, 7, 7 to 49. 49 is bigger than 44. So 6, 6 to 36, right? So 6, 6. 6, 6 to 36. Right? <coughs> so write 1, 6 here. Okay. <coughs> now subtract this. Take 1 from here. <coughs> You can't subtract, right? So borrow one from here, 14. 14 minus this, <coughs> 8, right? Then these two are pair, right? Bring it down. So 8, 89, right? Now add this two, add this two. 6 plus 6, 12, right? 12. Now again, now since this is the last number, we are going to find the perfect square root of 8, 8, 9. By, with the help of this number. <coughs> now look at here. Since the last digit is 9, square root of 9 is what? 3 3 is 9, right? And then 7 7 is 49, right? If you multiply 3 here, 3 3 is 9, 3 2 is 6, 3 1 is 3. So it's not, 3 is not the correct answer. Right, 3 is not the correct answer. You can try with a 3. Then, next possible answer is 7, right? Because 3 3s three are 9, right? 7 7s seven are 49. Last number is 9. So, these are the only two possible answers, right? So, since 3 is not the answer, we will try with 7. 7 7s are 49, right? And then 7 twos are 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. 7 ones are 7, 8. If you subtract, we can answer this one, right? So therefore, what's the answer? 7, 7, right? So 7. So the square root of 4489 is 67. And we use this division method when we are finding the square root of a big number like thousand, like a ten thousand, right? This is ten thousand. This when we are finding the square root of a big number, we use a method a called division method. The next example: <coughs> four, six, six, five, six. As I said before, first make a pair from left side, right? This is pair, this is pair, this is not pair, it's fine, right? So first we are going to find the perfect square root of 4, right? So since we have the perfect square root of 4, we just do it. Multiply, 2 to the 4, right? 4, cancel it, right? So 2 plus 2, 4, right? And then bring it down, 6, 6, right? So perfect square root of 66, right? Now, 1 1s are 1 1s are 1, 1 6s are. If you multiply here, 1 1s are 1, 
one for the four, right? Again, if you multiply with the two, right? Two, two to the four, two for the eight is 84, right? 84 is more than 66. So we are going to keep with one, right? One, one, the one, 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 the one, one for the four. We are going to keep it, okay? If you can't see properly, I'll clean it first. So, one, one, the one, one, four, the four, right? Now subtract this, six minus one, five, six minus four, two, right? And then bring this to this pair, 56, right? <coughs> The first is 2, 2, right? First answer is 2. And second one is 1, 1, right? 1, right? So add this 2, right? So 4, 2, 1 plus 1, 2. <coughs> now look at here. This is the last digit. There is no pair after this, right? 56 is the last digit, right? Now 6 is the last digit, right? 56 is the last digit. Now 6. Now what's the perfect square root of a number whose last number is 6, right? Let's say um, 6, 6, uh, 6, 6, uh, 36, right? And then 4, 4, the 16, last number is 6, 6, right? So means these are the possible answer, 4 or 6, either 4 or 6, right? Now, uh, if you look at here, 4, 4, the 16, right? Uh, 4 for the 16, 6 for the 24. I think 6 is more likely to be the answer. So let's try with the 6. 6, 6, uh, 36, right? And then 6 to the 12, 13, 14, 15. 15. 6 for the 24. Plus 1, 25. 25, right? So, the result is this one. So, we already written 2 here, 2 to the 4, 1, 1, the 1 here, 6, 6. <coughs> right? So, the square root of 46,656 is 260. Like, as I said before, how you can check the answer also. 216, 216, multiply. You're supposed to get this answer, right? If your answer is four six six five six, then this answer is correct. If if you multiply this, if you get a, if you get a different pro product, then this answer is wrong. That's how you are supposed to check it. <coughs> so with this, I stop here, and I hope you like, you enjoy today's lesson, and hope to see you next time. Thank you.